Oh, 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 so excited. Yeah. Just want to turn my passion into a paycheck. Look at that lovely lady. <laughs> I want to sing our intro. I know. I All right. Hey, ladies. It's 2021. We're back for another episode. I'm so excited because the world is opening back up. Restrictions are being lifted off. And guess what? We can catch some flights. Okay. I'm trying to get flued out. I'm ready. Yes. I actually just got back from a vacation. So I'm super excited about what we're about to talk about today because we're about to get into this traveling situation. Yes. Yes. We are about to get into it, honey. What's that? Let me Give stage the area. Yes, and if y'all missed our episode last week, it was about dating in our 30s, um, but we're going to get right into it and start talking about how excited we are to start traveling again. Close the door. Yes. Right. So basically, what you want to do when it's time for you to travel is you want to have like a, a plan. You want to have itineraries. So before I travel every time, depending on where we're going, I always do my research to see like, What's popping? What's not popping? Where can I get in for free to hang out? Yeah, um, right. what's, where's the scenery for places? Free. Um, what's cost efficient? Because you know, we try to say the coins when we can. And um, just like depending on who you go with, how much fun you're gonna have. Mm -hmm. So um basically with the itineraries, you want to make sure that um, first of all, you get it planned out before you go, you have everything written down like X, Y, and Z. Make sure everybody that you're traveling with is time has time management. Because if you don't have time management, your itinerary will get messed up. So you got to make sure that um, even though you're telling them like, hey, we're going to do this at this time, you bump the time up like maybe 30 minutes because yep. you know black people time. Black people time. Okay. Black people so <laughs> so um, just make sure with the itineraries, um, you keep it fun. You keep it interesting for everybody. Um, of course, if you go with your family, your itinerary going to be like more low key, more hanging out, more like bonding, games, family night, all that kind of stuff. If you're going with your girls, you know, you want to spice it up a little bit, yes. make sure y'all out on the town showing, you know, showing off, looking hot. And all <laughs> yes. Exactly. If you're on a vacation, you want to make sure you have like a whole bunch of romantic places, like, you know, nice little candlelit dinners, rooftop dinners, things like that. You want to set the mood so when y'all go back to the hotel, y'all can finish the mood. You feel me? Uh, so yeah, yeah. The itinerary just changes depending on who you're going on vacation with. But either way, you always do your research. Know exactly where you're going before you go. Period. Mm -hmm. You period. always got to know where you're going before you're going. That's, that's Make us. sure that is the best. Make sure you always have like, for, for instance, you're charging for your phone because you need that. You need mm -hmm. that to make sure your itinerary stays on point. You mm -hmm. don't never know where you're going. You have to always look up addresses and things like that. So make sure you always prepare with that. Right. Um, the last trip I went to that, went to that had a, a major itinerary was Miami for a bachelorette party. Yes. And let me tell y'all, my itinerary was lit, lit. When I it tell you it was point. lit, it was lit. Yeah, we, you we showed us that everything. itinerary in a messenger. <laughs> yes. I was so happy about that itinerary. Woo! Right. That girl did a bomb-ass job. She did. Congratulations to her. She did. She had us lit the whole three days we was in Miami. We was like legit team, no sleep. And I wasn't even mad about it because I had yeah. fun. But um, <laughs> we made sure we coordinated outfits. We made sure we coordinated events. We made That's sure we, everybody got their rides around. We knew who was going with who. Everything was just so organized. Let me tell y'all organization is key yes. it is key yes. it That's is key free. besides the but, organization of yeah organization is key yeah. so yes make sure you get a lit itinerary when you yes. travel y'all right 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 yes. i want to piggyback off that too with the itinerary do not have an over ambitious one though don't don't pack 30 things in there knowing you don't have the time yes. or money to do it Right, so like that itinerary, like you, you plan it out right so that way you. Everybody won't go all the way as planned all the time, but yeah, just right. right. Yeah. Of it. But it helps to keep you organized. Helps. Please don't be one of those. I know there's those people that type that just has to go by the itinerary. Have, we have to be here at this time. This time, no, literally, like yeah. chill out and just keep in mind it never always goes as planned. So mm -hmm. be ready to have like a backup plan and just go with the flow. Our right. group. So we are going with the flow type girls. So yes. I don't work yeah. out. You we, ain't going with the flow. You cannot. You can't. You uh, cannot. Hang I can't stand it. I go to Sorry, flow. Sorry, because if you okay. get really angsty about 
oh, we, we, we didn't make it here. We didn't make it here. I mean, if you guys sleep on the floor like us, we traveled a lot together. So we yeah. sleep on the floor. We, we going. Well, no matter what. We going to sleep we on the floor. We in one room and don't we care. We got enough room. Right. Right. All right. We'll okay. That's, that's just we going to make it work. Especially on the budget. Period. <laughs> But if let me say, in hurry, don't don't overpack it because I'm like then you're then you're stressed out because you're trying to hit everything you don't really get to enjoy. Correct. All of it while you're trying to overpack, right. overpack it, make it to where you can actually really enjoy the moment, the scenery, the culture, everything. So just be mindful of that and just just have a chill mind frame about it. Right. Don't be stressed. Yeah. Right. I'm saying that, but I have anxiety bad, so I still have to be organized a little bit, but let me tell you yeah. what my what my anxiety makes me do when I pack. So I'm about to get into packing. You feel me? So <laughs> let me tell you, not packing actually, but let me tell you what I take on my trip because I have anxiety, so I need to make sure I stay ready. Okay. Yeah. First of all, my suitcase. Uh, I had a lot of mishaps on suitcases, so I finally found the right perfect suitcase for me, which is a hard shell suitcase with mm -hmm. eight wheels, not the one that you lean yeah. back and roll because those flip the fuck over. That be pissing me off. I, I have been flipped over in the in the uh, airport. In the airport. <laughs> all that, like even when I was younger and they had the uh, roller backpacks. I took in high I, school. Yeah, high school. Somebody ran <laughs> over and I tripped over it and ended up in the sprinklers in front of all the eighth graders. No, I can't stand those. I can't stand those. <laughs> so no. You got eight wheels now. No, I got PTSD from the roller backpacks. Okay. So I have to have a hard shell bottom with eight wheels and you don't have to lean it back. And you just like push it through the airport. And then my suitcase also comes with a charger port so i need to stay ready because i ain't be looking for no charger no airport mm -hmm. or anything like that it comes equipped and i have this battery pack right here okay it has four charger ports for all my devices my air airpods my uh my iphone watch my iphone if i need to charge anything up i'm prepared at an airport okay where do you oh. get it can you tell us where you got that um that oh. suitcase that come with the ports because that's tight let me see let me see I got my suitcase ports. Like, I just, like, Googled soup, the kind of suitcases I wanted. But I think I got it from Amazon. from Amazon. Either from Amazon or Groupon. It was, it was a while back. I, I can't remember. But, yes, I love I love it. And, it's, and guess what? It's bright cherry red. So, when you go through the airport and it's coming down, like, if I have to check my bag in, really, I really don't check my bag in. Because my it's a travel stop. It's a, a carry-on carry size. On. Yeah. I make sure that it's carry-on size. So, uh, I could carry it on a plane and stuff all my stuff in there because I pack. I do not pack light, but I need to pack for free. So uh, <laughs> if they say, "Okay, who want to check their bags in for free at the at the uh, when you about to go on the airport?" I can check my bag in there, or I can decide to keep it. But usually, I'll check it on there. But when it comes down the airport ramp, or you know, you know where you get your suitcases at, I don't yeah. know where it's at at the bottom. I need to be able to see my suitcases because too many black suitcases. Uh, I can't find it. I want to be sitting there waiting for it. I want to be able to spot my suitcase from a mile away. So it's bright right. cherry red. So you know that's my suitcase right there. Anyways, another thing is I get a free, you know that free, uh, besides the free carry-on, you get a free uh, baggage check-in? Bag, like a, a personal item. So yeah. my personal item is always a big-ass backpack full of shit. Yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> my big ass backpack I'm, I'm gonna get every use out of something for free so my yeah, big ass backpack right. come with all like that's probably where i will pack my shoes at or whatever that i can't fit in my other suitcase i'll pack it in that backpack or all my gadgets so my backpack also has uh a usb port rocket charge so i i ain't never gonna be caught slipping uh it has uh both of my suitcase and my backpack has a, a tsa lock so it's always locked up. It got a lock. So don't be trying to get in my bag because you know it's a cherry red one that's coming down. Do not get my bag. Okay. I just, I just told him myself that it's my cherry red. Just told yourself. And I done been I done been on flights with her. You don't want to get to my bag because I got cheap shit in my bag. Like, let me tell you. Oh, another thing is this. Because I pack so heavy. Y'all know what this is? The no. vacuum pack thing. You vacuum pack your clothes. Yes. Oh, yeah, to make yeah. it right. It depends on where I'm going. I have to use this because, especially um, local, like in-state, if I'm going to somebody's house or um, Airbnb and need to have a vacuum cleaner because I'll suck all my clothes in there because I do not pack light. Like I said, I have to pack for this, for that, for this, for that. She okay, for, here, she for that. Really no? quick. She, <laughs> I, I went on a trip with her to North Carolina. I was so proud of myself. I, I had my one little backpack I, and I had my daughter with me. I had her suitcase and my one little suitcase. Here she came with at least five bags. I said, girl, where are you going? 
No, the only come with the bags I get for free on the, on the luggage. Very, so was, not, like, like that thing was a big. You have to pay for luggage. That thing was stuffed to capacity. I mean, I had a vacuum bag in there because I used the vacuum. It was stuff. Stuff your up. husband was so bad because he had to pull all your bags plus his bags. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! And her, when I say pack to capacity, girl, she tiny. I'm a big ass person over here, so my clothes is extra big. So and plus, we went in the uh, wait, we went in the summer or the winter. We went in the summer. We went in May, wasn't it? it oh, was May. okay. So it depends on the weather because the weather, yeah, cool. uh, if I got to pack coats or like big outfits, something like that. But I try to like roll them up, like roll up little little skimpy outfits. But I can't wear skimpy outfits. So I got big ass outfits. So I got to have a big <laughs> ass uh, suitcase full of shit. <laughs> shit. If, okay, once I get skinny and once I get, lose this weight like that, I'll be able to get my uh, two pieces up in there, roll them up nice and neat, and I'll be able to pack good. But for now, <laughs> I'll be able to get more shit up in there and shit. <laughs> Let me say something about the packing. So for me, I'm not like Destiny. Um, <laughs> I, I don't mind if I have to pay for a bag because my check-in luggage is the biggest. And let me tell you, yeah. y'all don't care if I'm staying there for two days, three days. I got enough outfits for a week or two weeks I'm because telling you. you never know what's going to happen, right? Right. So, but my carry-on one is always semi-empty because guess what, y'all? Everywhere I go, I got to buy something. Yeah. I got to shop. I got to buy something. I never know what I'm going to see. That's so what it's coming at. My carry-on super light i might have a pair of shoes in there or like my ipad or something just super light you, i can have you vacuum. That. <laughs> well for me i'm kind of like you ashley um i always check in my big suitcases i usually fly southwest but from with southwest you can check in two bags for free all Period. the time so that's Suit good carry on, right? when i carry on no, it's just a backpack a personal in the, in the um suitcase no no so check in. Like you get two check-ins a carry-on and a personal item yeah that's yes. what well, delta too delta and um uh american airline that's the only ones i, I fly with i don't think i ever flown with southwest but southwest that's your check-in and for free though we don't have yeah, to pay yeah. for it yeah. american yeah. airlines you, you have to pay, for pay for me, I believe. I believe. do you want to check it on when i get to the airport <laughs> when i get to the plane part yeah i ain't never been asked that nope no not not with southwest you don't have to that's that's why no no like you know when you're sitting inside the airport part and they say oh it's too crowded so do do you guys want to check a bag like come up here do you want to guess what they never ask me that because i always make sure i get on within the first round group i'm not getting on the last oh my bag is taking someone to play with me period (laughs) (laughs) stay ready Ah, but yeah, on the plane, I just have a backpack and a purse. And my backpack is probably going to be all my devices. I like to read on the plane. If I'm not asleep, I'm reading. So I have a couple of books, and then that's it. It's real life for me. I can't uh-uh. have can that too much stuff. It's, that's See, too much. Like, you need your headphones. Like, I bring these because it's always like the plane we fly at got movies. I don't, I don't, yeah. I don't read because I can't. I don't read. like to watch. I don't, I, I don't like to watch movies on the plane. I like to watch movies. <laughs> I like to read. That's not reading time for me. That's just me, though. Does it make you sick? Like, does it make you, uh, like, air sick? No, I'm just not a movie. You know me, Dance. I'm not a movie person. I like Oh, yeah, I you like don't watch TV read. at all. I like to like listen that. to music. If I can't listen to music on the plane, then I'm going to read a book. I'm like, I'm like... You better have your playlist ready. <laughs> I'm like, Dance. I like to watch the movies, but I, I, I pack similar to her, but I, I'm getting better. I, I'm the new traveler, so I've barely been places. Thanks to her, Miss Dance, she the one who got me flew out to play like. <laughs> yeah, I pack like her because like I said and Ash said you never know what's going to happen so I, I'm like okay I need an outfit for this I need an and then I always feel like I'm gonna forget something so it's like mm-hmm. I don't keep everything That's in there so I know I don't forget nothing right so I like to pack uh, pack for just any and then like when we was in North Carolina the weather was so bipolar out there like we left in shorts and then 10 minutes later it's pouring down rain and it was already right. it was like it was like wow. 80 degrees and it was terrain so it was it's just like, you don't know. Have to for everything. Mm-hmm. Ooh, that's yeah, candy. Y'all come right here. To, to this. I, I, <laughs> I pack everything. And then I, I love my makeup. So my makeup has its own bag. <laughs> exactly. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that go on. The makeup, I think my makeup go on my uh, backpack. Too. My backpack. I have a suitcase. I don't want nothing smashed. I have a lot of uh, expensive makeup. So I don't like nothing smashed, nothing broken. Mm-hmm. And I think, I, I think one time I get something got broken. Like eyeshadow palette or something. Oh dang! I never. I, I remember when I went to uh, Cabo and they was trying to make me throw away my uh, edge control. Oh okay. Lord, no, you not! I just bought this edge control. <laughs> I had to find, go like run around 
and uh, like get a scoop, like scoop it all out and put it in, a, in a, like a, a plastic bag to take it back on there because they said it was like over the limit. Like, so you gotta be so careful. So guess that. why? Guess why they want you to throw it away? Why? Because you tried to put it on the plane with you. You gotta check that bag in. That's why. Oh, no, I check I, I all my hair products. All my hair products, all my makeup, I put them in my bag, then I'm going to check in so that way, yeah, you know, me they tell me I can't bring it because there's a lot of That's stuff you can't bring on the plane. Yeah. One time when I went to Louisiana, I was coming back and I had some seasonings and I forgot them to put in my real, my big suitcase. Uh -huh. I put them on my backpack and they told me I couldn't bring my seasonings and my hot sauce, y'all. I had to throw them away. I was Shut so the sad. plane down. Shut the plane down. Let me go get my, let me go so my bag. Sad. I have to carry on. And, and no, I just bought these. I'm not wasting I should have put some seasoning. I had to put, you know, just taste the hot sauce before I let it go. Because he really made me throw it in the trash. Like, I was really sad. Like, I didn't know. I, I forgot. Why? Mm-mm. You know what's in our Not about wasting nobody. I'm not wasting money. <laughs> Here, so you gonna, I'm gonna have to hold the plane up and let me go find me a ziploc bag to th throw my seasons in there and then put them in another case when I get back home because you ain't taking my shit. I just bought these. <laughs> yeah, I took the L, y'all. I took the L. I, I know. I learned, <laughs> I learned my lesson because you know I like to travel with perfumes. You're not about to tell me yeah. to throw away a hundred dollar bottle of oh, perfume. Yeah. That's what oh I'm damn! Thinking. So yeah. I know to put my stuff in the check-in bag. All the stuff I put in the check-in bag, I don't care. Because you're not going to throw my shit away. I'm sorry. Right, right. right. <laughs> right. Period. <laughs> oh, my That's God. That's the one and only time I got caught slipping. After that, I was like, okay, everything is going in the checking bag. If I want to bring mm -hmm. home. Every time you travel, you learn a lesson. Like, you learn you a lot of lessons. Yeah, you, you get the experience you really every do. time. Right. It's a lot of don'ts that you, you know, can't do. You, you yeah. can't. Yeah. So let's get into. Okay. But let me tell you else what I, what, oh, hold on, before that. Okay. I forgot to tell you that I had to bring my uh, crystals. Like, when you travel, crystals traveling crystals they are they they give you serenity and peace and then you get good energy when you get to the other side or wherever you're going to destination so i always oh wait wait hold on let me untuck this crystal out of my boobs yes, yes my angel <laughs> port wait wait, wait, wait. <laughs> i want to get into some some like must like mistakes that people make why i know i haven't so far i've been good because i have like all my travel girls so they kind of helped me beforehand but a lot of mistakes that people do while traveling are like I said, the first thing, like overpacking the itinerary. Try, I'm like, you have to be mindful of where you're going, how much time you're going to spend there. Um, another thing is to forgetting your budget. When you go traveling, set a budget and don't don't get out there and act a fool. And then you like, damn, I don't yeah. have money. So like, please be mindful of your budget. That's please. why you shake that ass and make some cash. Hey, hey, for some other budget. You cash you out, sis. You gonna be stuck. It's a, a lot. Let me tell you, because a lot of girls, I just um, who was I talking to? I forgot who I was talking to. It was, one, it was one of my clients, basically. And her daughter went to Vegas on a trip, booked a hotel, didn't plan her budget, overspent. They were, didn't, and then didn't, didn't plan anything right, basically. So they were in the hotel. They had to be out by the next day, had nowhere to stay for the remainder of their stay and had no money to purchase anything. So no car, no money, no place to stay. I'm like, how, how does, I, I'm, I don't get it. <laughs> I, hope she had a, I hope she had a uh, suitcase that charged. You just charge her phone. <laughs> exactly. So I'm like, you're, you're getting your daughter got kicked out of the hotel because they only booked it for a certain amount of days, but ran out of money to pay for a third day <gasps> and had nowhere no, to go. It should have already been paid for up front. Exactly. Right. Right. But that's this, this that's where mistakes come in, where you that's think you can go and then you're not you're not mindful of the budget you have or the money. Why the hell did you go on a trip and you broke? That damn broke anyway. Thank you. Yeah, if you can't pay for the uh, <laughs> when you get home for your rent, you don't need to go on a trip. Exactly. Period. She was she was younger, so I'm like Let's learn, hopefully. Let's learn. Learn. So make sure you make sure you have a budget and you stick close to that budget. Don't go out there overspending. But and that, that also comes to research because you need to research if you're going out of the country, research the change in currency, research right. just yeah. so plan out oh, and yeah, have true. money when you go. Also, like Dad said and um An said, the overpacking and the checking your bags and putting stuff in the bags that you know they're not allowed on the plane. Do your mm -hmm. research before you go on a plane on what you can take on the plane. The size yeah. of the bottles. Make sure you're having travel size bottles because don't nobody want to throw away no seasonings, no hot sauce, and no perfume. <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> no <laughs> You want to be smelling good. You know, we don't want to be out there tang y'all trying to get it. Like, booming. Nothing booming. <laughs> <laughs> booming. <laughs> So just make sure you in a club booming. Be mindful of packing. Check, call the airline. Make sure you're checking like okay just check everything check everything double check everything another thing 
If you're going out of the country, make sure you're making copies of your passport, your ID, your credit cards, and an email to yourself. That's good. Aha, uh-huh. you know why? Because just in case you get out there and you lose your bag or someone steals your right. bag, you have it all in your email. You can access your email from anywhere. So I didn't do that. I didn't even do that. But I remember Bucky, he told us a story. Yeah, we, we had to go. We had a friend, had a friend that did that. Yeah. He, he went, he went, um, I can't remember where, but he Taiwan went. Taiwan or something like, somewhere. Wasn't that? It was, um, it was somewhere in Europe. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He went to Europe. Somewhere in Europe. But his layover, he got, he lost his passport. He lost it in layer. He left it on the plane. Yeah, he left it on the plane. That's oh. what happened. That's so that was like that was really a really smart tip. Like he's before you go anywhere, take a picture of all your mm-hmm. paperwork. Send wow. it to your send it to several yeah. emails if you have to. So that way if you ever get lost or they steal your bag or you lose it, right. that way you have it in your email always. I'm gonna email lines right now. Shit. After you get into the <laughs> Ain't no fun being stuck in a, another country, especially if you don't know the language, you don't know where you're going. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Another thing that I do or I say don't do is I don't travel alone. I have to travel with my girls. She needs me. Uh, I need all I don't. <laughs> I, I don't <laughs> travel alone, but yeah, we don't we don't travel alone. Like you always, especially when you're going like in, in the states that's that may be different, but it just and it, again that depends on where you're going. But like if you're going out of the country, don't travel alone. Travel with your girls, travel with family, like basically use the buddy system. Because let me tell you, after I watched um Taken, uh-uh. Y'all oh, yeah. Ooh, that's right. <laughs> For real. Traffic me out a little too. Uh-uh. You ain't gonna get me <laughs> shit. Y'all better start fighting. <laughs> we fighting. And right. then another thing too. Wait, like, wait, let me say this. Let me say this. If we ever go on the trip together, because I know we will, and yes. we end up, or even even if I feel like I'm gonna end up close to how you said your client's daughter was, I'm never fucking with y'all again. I'm giving you a PSA. <laughs> There's no oh, way. There's no way we going anywhere and getting stuck out anywhere, even if I'm right. running money. People First of all, to actually, to make sure that know. they pick up, fuck that. Right. <laughs> you know, if we plan a trip, the wherever we're staying is going to be paid for before paid we even for. get there. From right. We don't, we don't roll so like there's that. There's no way we're not going to be able to lay our head for the entirety of the trip. That's not exactly. going to happen. And y'all better have a side boo to uh, cash out that money shit. Or to shake that ass. I can't No side boo. Y'all better have some ass to shake shit because we gonna get some money. Shit, we don't need to out. Y'all can't shake nothing. You better call your husband. No, I sure can't. <laughs> My husband better give me the cash app, but y'all single asses better shake some ass so we can get somewhere. We are gonna be prepared. I go anywhere I can't afford. I always have the cash. That's I right. If I can't right. afford it, I'm not going because, and I'm not about to. Uh, I'm sorry, I can't. Mm-hmm. Even though there. we've only been on two trips all together, mm-hmm. they wasn't like big, big trips like where we had to catch a flight. But right. I mean, they were planned out pretty good. We all had right. the money on deck. Um, so I know our future trips that we're gonna go on is gonna be lit. And like, right. Ash, you got the itinerary because you already yeah. Yeah. Like, yes. But That's everything, right. I'm sure, right. is gonna be lit. It ain't you know we we gonna have it together. I'm okay. excited. Right. Gonna be lit. Itinerary. Yeah. But because we the last Vegas trip Vegas, we went on, everything. right? The last Vegas trip we went on was so fun, and we didn't yes! even do much. Like I and just like super missed it. We wanted you to come so bad. We I went know. to we was at Vegas at that house at that uh-huh. Airbnb. That I place. felt like I was there. Shoot, for I was, real, I was there with oh, y'all. Cool. Yeah. But I'm, I'm gonna be on the next trip. Don't. Yes, mm-hmm. you are. We are gonna make sure of it. Yes. yes. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's it without you, Anj. I'm ready. So, bing, ding, 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 I think is sipping tea time. Hey, I have one more thing. Too. One more thing. Oh, okay. Wait before sipping tea time, guys. One thing. Before we get to, before we get to tea time, um, I want to say, make sure you have enough storage to back your pictures up because you don't want to. Yes! Let me tell yes! you. Losing all your memories for your for a bomb ass trip. What? I we went That's to amazing. we went to Atlanta. Let me tell you, I don't know what happened, but we went to Atlanta and we went to the Martin Luther King Museum. Remember we went to Martin Luther King Museum? That it was like so inspiring. Let me you lost you. those pictures? My all all those videos and pictures gone. I have the whole trip, but those, and I don't know what happened. Oh my god. Oh my god, I can't believe we lost those. Yes. I didn't know y'all went to Atlanta without me. What? I know. I'm gonna say we drove we, we drew through. Yeah, we, we just flew into Atlanta to get to North Carolina, so we we had to drive. Oh. It was cheap. <laughs> We was cheap. How, how long was the drive? How long was the drive from Atlanta? 33 hours. Like like here to Vegas. Oh, oh wow. 
too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, me too. It was nice though. It was it was nice. We see the scenery. We stopped at um, it was a restaurant that was on Diner Drive. Uh-huh. It was one of my yep. favorite shows. Because Lons right. love to go to restaurants on Diner Drive. I had bomb chicken and waffle. Uh, let me t- let me t- wait. Let me tell y'all about North Carolina. Let me tell y'all. I don't even like McDonald's. Yeah, I don't even eat meat anymore. But let me tell you, when I went to McDonald's, had that chicken sandwich. Them, they know. <laughs> They know how to season some shit. Make I said, McDonald's? The hell? <laughs> you California food. I said, oh my, who, who can I tip? Wait, come back here, girl. <laughs> McDonald's. You sounds were so seasoned. I was like, yes. It was so, I don't even like McDonald's. I was like, oh my God, that was so bomb. Mm. I, I love the South. Like, I love the Southern hospitality. I love the food. Uh, right. Where are we going? Yeah, we're going to the South because yeah. I need to go to an HBC. Uh, I want to go to Louisiana. Uh, yeah, Louisiana. Louisiana. I need authentic beignets. But I, I want to go. What did I say we need to go? Uh, to a, um, yeah. To a what? That's in July. Oh, as fast, we need to go to uh, 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 an AT&T. I mean, am I saying it right? Homecoming. 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 Uh-huh. Homecoming. Yeah. I got, if, yes, if you really want to do that, I can get some information because um, my homegirl who lives in uh, Louisiana, she's been trying to get me out there. My homegirl, oh. Brianna. When is it? Trying to get me out there. Um, I don't know if they have anything. I'm this, going to is Texas. It, is June? No, I don't know when the HBCU homecoming, homecoming I is. I think they're not having it this year. I think they canceled it. Mm-hmm. But next year, I'm talking about next year. And I'm yes. not talking about the, I'm ready for next year. Uh, yes. I'm going to be 35 next year. Okay. I just told y'all my age. Who's, right? who's I'm going to be? We all going to be. We all okay, going to be 35. Be I'll come first. I'll come first. But oh, I, really, yeah. like, I really want to plan a trip to Africa. I wanted to do Tulum. I wanted oh, to do Africa. I really want to go to Africa. I really want to go to Africa and just ex- and just, just do the damn thing. Okay. All, All right. right. So one thing you need to make sure that you uh, do when you're traveling is designate a DD. Like have a designated driver. Like the person that you can trust that's going to get you here and there. They know their sense of direction very well. And they pretty much drink the less. You want to make sure that everybody else gets the turn up. But you want to get there safely and, you know, make sure that the DD gets you home and back back and forth. Let me tell you, so, I'm not the DD ever. I'm, I, always the D, I'm always the DD and I'm okay with being the DD because I don't trust everybody driving anyway. Yes. I don't drink like that unless it's something cute and fruity, like a margarita, my side, something cute, <laughs> something cute and light, but I will do tequila shots. But <laughs> if I'm at a place I don't know, I don't like to be out of my mind. So I most likely would be a designated driver. Good. Okay. I'm glad we got two designated drivers. Cause no, Anjali, two designated drivers. All right. There it is. Anjali, you a designated driver? You know I'm not. I got to be in the backseat, too. <laughs> she in the trash bag in the backseat. Everybody at the club get dipsy. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't like driving in foreign areas. Uh-uh. Not it is not like driving at all. <laughs> no, especially the nighttime, I cannot see. I don't mind. I don't mind driving, like, at all. Like, mm-hmm. I love to drive in Vegas. I like long drives. My music extra loud and my peace of mind. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just not long drives with my child unless she sleep. Ooh, right. <laughs> so guess what? It is tea time. Y'all ready for that? Tea time. Hey, red tea. I see somebody over there was sipping. Yeah, I see somebody was sipping. So if y'all haven't seen our previous episode, tea time is where we ask questions. And if you don't get it right or you do get it right on some, um, you need to sip that damn tea. Um, sometimes we're going to have tea that we have never tasted before. Um, yes. This tea that I have, this time that I have to do is, what is it? It's the honey green tea lavender. But I infuse some uh, fruit water like mango peaches and, um, and strawberries to make my tea. So hopefully it tastes better this time the last time. What do you got, Sash? So mine is Earl Grey tea with uh, four pumps of vanilla. A what tea? Earl Grey tea. <laughs> Earl. <laughs> so, <laughs> my name Earl made that tea. The homie down the street, Earl made me some tea. Girl, put some vanilla in it. Now I'm just playing. No, but Let me see. Let me see what called, color is it? What color is the tea? It's actually called Earl Grey, but it's made. It's like kind of like a latte because it's it, it was made Earl. with water, milk, and the Earl Grey tea, and then you add the vanilla. So it looks it looks more like the creamy side. Mm. Well, either you gonna Earl or somebody Earl made it. Let me see what it looks like. Can y'all see? It looks creamy. That Earl yeah. bag. <laughs> that Earl tea bag. <laughs> Earl wants to be tea bagging. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't tea bagging it forever. That was high school days. Bagging. 
<laughs> right. Oh, uh -oh. That, I haven't tried this yet, y'all. So y'all don't see y'all can't be trying the first time. I hope you don't Earl. I ain't trying. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the game we're gonna be playing is never have I ever. If you have, you need to take that sip. If you haven't, just sit there looking damn boring as fuck. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna start with the first question. Okay, never let's go. have I ever uh what's my question? Never have I ever uh had a one night stand on vacation. Like met somebody there and brought her back to the room or you went to their room and screwed the fuck out of them. <laughs> Are you, guys you have not? <laughs> no. I have I haven't either. Not let, me, I never will. let me do a disclaimer. I was in a relationship for years, so I'm the good girl, the angel. I didn't get the whole stage experience these heifers got. <laughs> I'm a sip. I never did that yet. So, what's the next question? Well, I never Can did I... that. Yeah, go, go. Okay. Never have I ever flew out to meet a guy that I met online. Well, flew. I know a guy flew out to meet me, my husband. Yeah, me too. <laughs> okay, okay. I ain't did no fluing, so. <laughs> no, I ain't, I ain't fluing. I ain't never flewed. <laughs> I ain't never flewed. <laughs> no flewed and ain't got flewed out. <laughs> I ain't I ain't never flewed. Uh-uh. Who sips? Who sips to that? I sip to that. Y'all know my last trip. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Okay, you, you, get, you got to sip. You need to sip a couple of times. <laughs> I'll take another sip. Yep, take another sip. You don't. Okay, do let it. me see. Let me think. I'll go next. Never have I ever. Um, I'm trying to make it juicy for y'all. Um, never have tea. I ever got drunk on vacation and went skinny dipping. Mm -hmm. That's a uh, not yet uh -huh. situation. Yeah, that's not yet for me. I think too. I think I'm not opposed to it. I'm not. Let me get this to body it. right first. Y'all want to see this ass? I'm not opposed to any newness. I don't like clothing at all. If I can be naked all day, I would love to. I don't like clothing. So, Thanks. nobody want to see that butt. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody like it. Somebody over there like it. I'm going to get on that butt over there. <laughs> give, me, give, me that <laughs> give me that butt crack. <laughs> no, that's a not yet. I think I will. I think all of us will. We'll do skinny yeah, dipping. We'll, we'll have to go somewhere and get drunk and do the skinny dipping. Thing. Yeah, but it, it, it will have to be like us. Well, I don't know. Yeah. It have to be drunk. I, I mean, you know, it could be a girl's trip. No, it could be a vacation. It could be a girl's trip. A vacation? A Nobody seen my husband goods. Nah, girl, we don't want to. We don't want to. Girl. <laughs> <laughs> uh uh. Don't we, and we do not want to see things. Don't you. throw shade. It's not shady out here. Today. No, it's not a shade throw. It's just that's our brother. So we don't want to see. Yeah, exactly. Good. I don't want you to see. I don't want to see you Thank either. Thank you. <laughs> What's the next that's one? That's shade. That's right. shade. So, so you never. Wait till I get my vacant body. You gonna be one of I didn't see you enough. I didn't see enough for a lifetime. I just saw you ten minutes ago on the camera. Oh, <laughs> let me get dressed in peace. <laughs> so never have I ever traveled somewhere with no with no luggage, no nothing. I just showed up to the new destination and it made it work. No luggage. No nothing. I just showed up with what I, I got can't. on. I have an anxiety attack. I, so I'm that. You sit. Yeah, you I sit. Sit. When I came to Kansas, it was a one-way ticket. I was supposed to um, just be out here for a few days. And guess what? I ended up moving my ass out here. I didn't have no luggage, no clothes. Dang. I had to start wearing clothes. I had to get my clothes from back Ooh. home. Uh, yeah, good, that, was, that was on a whim. Yeah, you good, girl. That's spontaneous. Yeah. That is spontaneous. So basically, we need to keep an overnight bag packed so that way, if you do plan on going somewhere, you can just grab and go. Yeah, that's right. Keep a bag in a trunk. That's what Sonya always said. Yep, keep a bag yep, in the trunk. Do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, stay ready. Never have I ever gave head on a plane. <laughs> Look at Ashley. <laughs> she said. Like she can just see it. <laughs> <laughs> That's another not yet. Y'all can't see my straw. I can I can do that as a not yet. I can do that as a not yet, but no. Only because, then, no yeah. only because I like I like husband. 
I like the the sloppy loud. I I don't want to be restricted on a plane being quiet, but then again, exactly. it's the fun of it. It's the fun of it. Getting caught is it's exciting. Yes, it is. Lay your lay your head to the side. Lay your head on my pillow. Lay your head down. Lay your head down. Give your head down. down. It, it was cool. You only person I thought I was gonna catch me was a, a flight attendant that just go up and down the aisle. That was it. And a nosy neighbor. You never know. They could have been peeking through the peeking. You oh, know how to see. That's me on the plane. I'm nosy. I want to know what's going on. If I hear something, I'm looking. As soon as somebody sneezes, say something. And I'm like, excuse me, bitch, mind your business. <laughs> I'm like, this. I'd have been, I'd have been, I'd have been the, uh, the girl in the back seat. Tell my girl. Uh huh. Recording. Hey, look, now you gotta lift your mask up and, and give head. <laughs> Oh, and, then you, and then you just see the cover going up and down. Yeah, <laughs> it's a jacket. Like you just get a jacket to the side. <laughs> Let me tell y'all, it's the only person I know that packed fifty million covers, and now y'all know why. Yep. <laughs> Throw baby. You are. Throw baby. Throw baby. That's her. <laughs> Fun to do that. Like at home, I'm not like that funky, but I'll where I'm ready to get caught somewhere. That's when. That's when you horny as fuck. Like for real. <laughs> I can I can agree with that. Yeah, it's just something exciting about being in a new. Why place. you doing that face, Ange? What? Because I'm opposite. I'm more intimate, privacy. I don't get off to you know the thrill of getting <laughs> caught. That doesn't excite me. Uh-uh. That is. Mm-mm. I like the thrill. Thrill in my life. <laughs> right, I have another one. You know what it is. Okay. <laughs> Never have I ever done it on a balcony while I was on vacation. Yeah, I know when you get the room, you got the balcony, you getting the popping with Ooh, the partner. Somebody sipping, somebody sipping. That's not yet for me because I want it. That's not yet for me too. I, feel like that's not, I, feel like I was thinking it, but I think I, uh, I think I had like dreamt of that or something, or, or <laughs> it's a or fantasy or something like yeah, a fantasy like in a rain or something. <laughs> her. All right, I got one more. I don't okay. know, if y'all. Ever, this is my last one. Never have I ever hooked up with two guys on one trip. Two guys, one trip. Two guys, mm-hmm. one trip. Not yeah. ever, and not ever will. That's good. Yeah, I, would, I don't think I'll do that either. Ah, but... you can. You got a chance. You got a chance to hook up with two guys. Where are you going next? To Texas. Texas guys, hey, your Texans. We calling all she Texas. She wanted two at one time. Oh well, she she did a couple. I mean, <laughs> I'm going to Cali first, and then I'm she going to Texas. Be. So does that count? Cause that's still one trip. I'm gonna stop in Cal. I'm gonna go to Cali, then stop in Texas before I go back to Kansas. So I okay, be- so she gonna stop in Cali to get one boo and go to Texas and get the other boo. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Okay, that's still considered one trip. Yep. Mm-hmm. We'll see- the layover we'll- dick. We'll see if I get lucky. <laughs> <laughs> oh, y'all hear that? Y'all hear that? Layover dick. She waiting for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not playing with Who y'all. Who got another question? Because y'all, y'all giving me too much tea today. Come on, girl. I'm no questioned out. Me! I'm questioned out. Come on, girl, baby. Okay, if, y'all, if, if y'all want to come on and be a special guest, because this is not the last time we're going to play Never Have I Ever, it's going to get real heated. Yes, so I want some. Yeah, want some good. Some good this some is just a vacation, story. Never Have I Ever. But when we're going to get I want some, some real, real vacation stories. Like, I had a client, I have a client who... She went to, she went to, like on a cruise somewhere, met a guy, took him back to the room, hooked up with them there. And they, mind you, she's married. We're not going to say no name. She's married. Her husband's in the military. Oh. Then when she gets home, the guy was flying her out to Florida. So she would take girl vacations to go see her vacation bay. Ooh, that's tea. Girl, you you want to call in? You want to join? I want some real stories, like some, some real. real yes, stories. we need to see, we need to hear some juicy stories. So let us know if y'all got some juicy juice. Yes, because I don't stories. have no juice, y'all. I was locked down, so all the juice stayed in my relationship. Mm-hmm. Only got county okay. juice. Just look, look, look toward the, towards the future. We got a lot of vacations coming up. We got some girls trips that we definitely have to uh, plan soon. Mm-hmm. You have some, va- you have some North Carolina juice. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Hush. Thank you. <laughs> Husband. 
Yes, with her husband. That's disclaimer. Everything, Everything I talk about is with my husband. Except for if I got some Cali juice that I want to talk about in the past. Sorry, husband. Let I'm me tell, have to tell you some. Let me tell uh, you. Ooh, I mean, vicariously through her and all her Cali juice because that was Cali girl. The juice, <laughs> it was juice, tea, alcohol, all mixed in one. <laughs> uh, actually, why are you laughing at Anjali? Because y'all, y'all had some juice. Uh, no, I had juice. I had some juice. I, I got married young too. I definitely you have, have juice a with the husband. No, nah, I don't have no juice with the husband. No, with the ex husband, no juice. No juice. No juice. No, no sloppy tea, nappy. No soda. Sloppy knocky is only for the fiance. No, I had. Oh, he yeah, had so one, bad. I had one. No, not one juice, but it was it was a never have I ever given head in the backseat of a car while somebody else was driving. Well, I can't sit on that one. <laughs> I can't sit on that one either. either. Like up close taxi cab driving. Yes, like literally a seat apart. So you talk about my plane giving head to your taxi cab cab driving like, right there, like a seat apart. <laughs> <laughs> what? It was a seat apart. There's a driver just right behind the driver. I know because the plane is a seat apart. <laughs> oh, uh-uh. That driver probably was like, keep your eyes <laughs> on the damn road. <laughs> <laughs> driver hold up the partition, please. Oh period. yeah. Period. Period. Yes. But this is actually not bad. Mine ain't either. It tastes real earthy, like like with vanilla, the vanilla, but earthy, like, early. <laughs> early. <laughs> no, but it's not bad. It's actually not a bad tea. But we didn't even get into uh, like what kind of hairstyles and stuff we wear on vacation. Yes, yes. Okay, let's talk about vacation hair. When you prepping for vacation. You always got to make sure that you make all your appointments. Yeah, hair appointment, get the hair right. Um, and it goes based off of your itinerary. If you're going somewhere where it's, you're going to be in the water, the beach, and all that stuff, for me, I prefer braids for those types of trips um, mm -hmm. over weave. Um, Braid every coochie hair. But this this type of hair, though, right here, this, this, <laughs> girl, this is some good vacation hair. I would, I would probably do this maybe, I don't know. Not but in the if water, I, if it's lace. Yeah, not in the water. If I was just going, like, you know, on a weekend getaway or something like that, yeah. and it was, like, a date night, and I just went to look cute mm. for pictures and stuff, this would be my vacation hair. True. For water yeah. and wild stuff and all that kind of stuff, definitely some braids or protective stuff like that. Also, mm -hmm. um, when you go on vacation, you want to make sure you get your nails right. Go get mm -hmm. that pedicure. Spend some money. Don't just get the regular one. Get that callus removed so you'll be <laughs> <laughs> you know, make sure, yeah, make sure you get the cute colors. If you want to get the bright white, cocaine white, whatever, or the cute, fly, fancy colors, you know, make sure your nails is popping. No crack heels. You make sure you <laughs> no crack yeah, toes. No, that. Toes and crack heels. So, <laughs> <laughs> you want to make sure you get your eyebrows done, your lashes are popping. Me, I'm not really into lashes. Um, so sometimes like I'll bring just, you know, your little strip lashes, but if you're going on a long vacation, I know people probably prefer to get the individual ones. Individuals over here. Sadani. Right? Quick plug, quick plug. I do Sadani. Sadani. Yes, Sadani, Sadani, I will be getting that. you for your vacation. Yes. Because I, I want to Jamaica. Yeah. Yo, book me. Yeah. Book me an appointment, Sadani, because I'm going to Jamaica soon. So. I'm booked for April. So if y'all got any vacations coming soon, you can't see me. No, Okay. <laughs> I got the next. I got the next months coming up, so I'm gonna yes. be on time because so down flashes. flashes, and I can get in the water get with them, get them wet without them falling off. Make those wax appointments. Make sure you know you all nicely cleaned up down there. So when you got your bathing suit on, you pop in, you fresh. And no you hair popping. For your, if you're on a vacation, you definitely want to have that fresh, baby smooth Brazilian wax. You know. Wait, I want to. I want to recommend though. I actually did a sugaring Brazilian. And it was so nice. They literally, if you don't know what sugaring is, basically it's water, lemon, and sugar. And it looks kind of like caramel. It's like a paste. Mm -hmm. And it has it has more skin benefits for you because it has the lemon for brightening. And then it has like the sugar that exfoliates. But it it literally, I love the sugaring Brazilian. It took all the hair off. Super smooth. Oh, I'm going to try. I've never tried a Brazilian, but I have to try it this year. I'm, it's on my bucket list because I'm scared. Before but you go to Jamaica, make that yeah, appointment. Yeah. I gotta yeah. Yeah. Uh, yep. And I heard that you have to exfoliate before it, so I got the exfoliating um on deck. So 
I'm going to be ready. I'm you want to make sure you bring all your travel size hair products and your travel size skin products to make sure your skin is glowing while you're on vacation. Des and Sash have all the skincare needs that you need and all the travel sizes. They're going to let you know what they got right there. Yes. yes. We got the click and scrub. Another quick plug with selfie. So like, it just kind of depends on where you're going. Like, if you're going somewhere warm, um, or humid, you don't want to, and, and you're wearing a lot of makeup, even though I'll try to stay away from it. You just want to make sure you're always cleaning your skin, make sure you're exfoliating, make sure you're toning, tighten those pores, because that humidity, that heat will keep your pores open. All that makeup and oil is going to sit in there and it's going to cause breakout. Yes. So if you're going somewhere dry, just make sure you have your moisturizer. Make sure, again, you're still toning and making sure that you're keeping your face moisturized. So you're not having that dry, cracked skin, because you don't want to look ashy in your pictures. So oh, don't. If your skin looking dry or you wear makeup, it's cracking underneath. That's from no moisture. So just make sure you take care of your skin on vacation. Always, everything we make is travel size. Travel size. You don't have to worry about them making you throw it away. <laughs> throw it away. Yes. That's edge control and that uh, seasoning. Yeah. Moving hair care. If you need to bring your oil, make sure that you're oiling your, oiling your scalp yes. while you're on vacation. You get in that pool, your hair dry out. You want to make uh -huh. sure you put on deck, and you got your oil on deck. So I got. I need those to order two. that. I need to order the. Uh, the travel size because I need it. I'm running. Yeah. I need the travel size for my trip for real. Yeah. Oil. I only got the all big ones, and I need that oil for my trip for real. I am not okay. And what else we need to have? Oh, let me see. We need to have that. You know, we gotta wear a mask. Oh yeah. Yes. She got so, those. I got my regular shade. Yes. Blocking. You want to show your pop lip gloss up in this mask? You see how it protrudes through? <laughs> I'm even shade. Huh? Mm. I think it's regular shade. shade. Y'all yeah, throwing it all the damn time. <laughs> yes, I, need these. I got these for my trip. I'm already starting to pack them for my trip already. So if you see all this, I got my Sky Room for my uh, internet service. I don't trust uh, old mm -hmm. video you don't out there. You can't upload your picture. Mm -hmm. Yep, and I always take pictures. And I always upload them, so I need this everywhere I go, all the Wi-Fi. <laughs> Where'd you buy that from, Des? I got this from Amazon. It's called Sky Room. So it's just it like a portable Wi-Fi? Yeah, a portable hotspot. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you, mm -hmm. I like to travel. So I got everything on deck. Got I've been camping, out in the wilderness. Like, I, I have everything on deck. I learned from trial and errors. And then I'm like, when I come home, I'm like, okay, that happened. So let me go order this real quick. Yeah. So <laughs> mm-hmm. What about, what about what you have to wear when we For go the airport. To the airport and stuff? What are we wearing? Stuff like this. I have to be comfortable. Yeah, yeah, some sweats, a matching outfit, you know, the matching top with the matching bottom or the leggings. I got my Adidas outfits, a little Nike outfit. Some yes. Sports. Always uh -huh. comfortable. Always comfortable. Always. That you, you can just slip on, slip off. I'm sorry that I can, we keep plugging our own stuff in here, but yes, uh, I have Urban Legacy wear that I always wear. <laughs> and then I create. <laughs> so that's what I wear in the airport. Home. <laughs> I know it's, it, it seems like a little cliche that we keep uh, saying our products, but guess what? We do the damn thing. We do it all. So I got to keep it. We, we do it for traveling. <laughs> I mean, I love to travel comfortable. I do. I always have to wear, like, like I said, matching sweatsuits. But one thing that's going to always pop is my kicks. Shoes, I'm still yeah. going to wear some bomb kicks no mm -hmm. matter where I go, especially in the airport. Because you just never know who you're going to see. Right. And, you know, when you walk into the airport with your luggage, that nice eight wheel luggage that you just push it around and stuff you strutting you like command everybody to take in. so your kids gotta be the shit period mm -hmm. your kids period. gotta be popping no matter if you're wearing because you do have to run an airport i, I forgot about yeah, that not, run before. Early enough. yeah but that's another thing lay over that's stuff another, that, that is catch. another thing that is please make thing. sure you arrive early enough do not try yeah. to come 30 minutes before you get on your flight and try to check right. it and get everything and miss your flight. Please. Mm -hmm. That's another, right. that's another, right. that's another uh, two, uh, hour and a half or two hours before when we Always try two, At least yeah. two hours. Two because hours. a lot of the time you stand in that line just to get inside for, inside. Two days for like 30 minutes. That's like 30, sometimes it can be 45 minutes. Yeah. 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 And you got to take everything off. Then they got to slide the bag. So then like with me, I had make my bag. So they pulled my bag. I had to unzip it, pull it out to show them, pack my bag and put the shoes on. Mm -hmm. get there in enough time so you don't miss that flight i haven't yeah. traveled during coronavirus era but y'all yeah. two have actually uh, uh -huh. like is it packed like how how do you get in so basically when i first took my first flight during the coronavirus era was in february when i went to miami 
And um, this is before vaccinations was like open and available to everybody. Mm -hmm. So the airport was like empty, empty. Oh, I got okay. the TSA okay. like in 15 minutes. It was nothing there, nothing oh, okay. there. So fast forward to like two weeks ago when everybody can get vaccinated now. Yeah. I was almost late to my flight thinking I was going to have that 15 minute TSA line. And I was sadly mistaken because that shit was like crazy, crazy busy. Oh, so okay. yes, that took about 30, 40 minutes. Like, um, um, they were talking about before. So now it's almost back to regular. So yeah, make sure you yes. um, give yourself yes. more time to get through. I'm scared yeah. for going out of the, uh, out of the country because that damn line to get in, to get checked in when you get to the other co side Maddie. of the country is damn forever. Right. I, I have never seen a, uh, because a, 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 like a short line. Well, I haven't been to that many countries, but well, when I went to the came in, it took that line was wrapped around. Like, yes, it was it like so long. We, it was a long line, oh. but I mean, it's worth it. Should, I love it. It, it is worth it though. I love it. This when the world was closed, it was so easy to get everywhere. We got to yeah. LA in like thirty minutes. All right. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, I hope you guys took a lot of tips and tricks that we're giving off for traveling safely, traveling, having fun, traveling with itineraries, luggage, um, must-haves, not-to-dos, all the things that we gave you regarding tra travel. I hope you guys take some away from it and apply them to your, you know, to your daily life or whatever you got going. So yeah. um, make sure that you follow us um, on all our social media networks. We have a link tree where you can find all of our links for social media. It's at Stay Six Podcast. So like, comment, subscribe, all the above. Um, our episode two, our episode two should be posted to our YouTube account today. So make sure you go check that out. Or actually today, because we're recording on a Sunday, but by the time you guys see this, you should have already seen episode two, okay? So yeah. like, comment, subscribe, like I said, so you can get the notifications on when we um, upload. And we'll catch you guys next time. Yeah. Uh, 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 we'll see y'all uh, next time. Bye. Thanks for all the support. Us. Send us questions at Juicy Stories. because Yes. Really, really, yes, send us yes. Stories, and, we'll read, and we'll read the Juicy Stories. Yes. yes send yes, it up. If you want to be a, a guest on the show, anonymous. let us know. Anonymous. Yes. We'll, we'll read it anonymous. Read it anonymous. Yeah, yeah. we'll read anonymous. Mm -hmm. Send us, the, send us that tea. We need tea for that ass. All right. So. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. See y'all. See y'all.